The following procedure is a bump test and calibration for an IAM unit. This is a main supply unit and caution should be applied when removing the IAM from its box. The tools required are a digital voltmeter with a resolution of two decimal places, a crocodile clip, a flat bladed screwdriver and a Merco calibration kit, which includes your cylinder of calibration gas, flow regulator, flexible non-absorbent tubing and a vented calibration hood. This is an IAM unit. The zero volt test point is marked here on the board as 0V. The standby voltage output in clean air is measured as VS and the voltage output on alarm is measured at VREF. The adjustment for standby voltage is done at P1 and the alarm set voltage adjustment is done at P2. The delay settings on the unit are on header HD1 as shown here. The jumpers are normally red or black in colour. Before starting, inform the occupants, plant operators and or supervisors of the test. Check IAM connections to external equipment and disconnect if required. Deactivate any delays by removing jumpers 1 and 2 on HD1. Before performing your test, the IAM must be powered up overnight. The electrical setup, the rating label on the side of the IAM, gives you the standby voltage and alarm voltage factory set points. These values were established during the initial factory calibration of the unit. So with your voltage meter between 0V and VS, check and record the standby voltage. If different to the rating label factory voltage, then adjust P1 to the standby voltage, which is normally 0.3 volts or as shown on the rating label. Move your positive lead from VS to VREF and adjust P2 to the alarm voltage as shown on the label. There are two types of bump test. The quantified bump test uses a known concentration of gas and the non-quantified bump test uses an unknown concentration. Connect the voltmeter between V0 and VS. Once the sensor starts to see gas, this voltage should increase. For a quantified test, you need to use a calibration cylinder. For the target gas at the concentration, as on the rating label or higher. Having carried out the electrical setup, expose the centre by introducing gas through the front panel here. You should see the standby voltage increase. It may take 10 to 15 minutes to pass the alarm through this set point. Older sensors may take longer. Once you've reached the alarm set point, the red LED will light and the sounder, if enabled, will activate. The relays should also activate and if the IAM is connected to the remote IAM C panel then this should also display the red light from the alarm on the panel. The IAM sounder can be muted by pressing the red mute button. If connected, the IAM C, this can be muted by turning the switch. Having carried out the electrical setup, connect the voltmeter between V0 and VS with your known target gas and desired range, expose the sensor to the gas and allow the standby voltage to climb. Once the voltage stops climbing and stabilises, then that voltage is the alarm voltage and should be recorded. Record this value and then between V0 and VREF adjust P2 to approximately 50 millivolts below this voltage. The IAM will now be in alarm and relays should activate and if the IAM is connected to the remote IAM C panel then the red LED on the IAM C should be lit. The IAM sounder can be silenced using the red mute button. Remove the gas and the unit will come out of alarm and return to its normal voltage of 0.3 volts or as the settings on the rating label.